previously on Outdoor Travel Channel, Rob and Sherry start thinking about sailing. This was truly something they have never done before. A few weeks later, Rob and Sherry take basics of sailing and get certified. Rob does a video about the pets and how to protect them with the air conditioning and the circuit breakers. And RV Talk Radio gets to talk to traveling nurses and the following week celebrates 50 episodes. And this week, Rob and Sherry head for beautiful San Diego, California. Good morning. Good morning. So today is a big day for us. Cinder's going to the fancy dog motel. <laughs> And uh, where she'll be spoiled. I think she can even get massages, so it's kind of crazy. She's kind of excited. But we're on our way to San Diego. And uh, so uh, tomorrow we have a four hour tour and a sailboat. And we're actually going to go look at a sailboat too, but don't get any ideas, guys. We're just looking and thinking. Anyway, uh, we're kind of excited because we really could use a vacation. So, it's really early, it's like, well not early now, but 7 o'clock, Cinder's going to go to the place, we're a little bit early, and then we'll hit the road, it's about 7 hour drive, something like that. About 6 hours. Yeah, and so off to San Diego from Arizona, so we're in Phoenix, Arizona to go there, so anyway, hope you enjoy our trip, and we'll have lots of pictures for you. So we started our journey from Fort McDowell, traveled through Phoenix cut down on 85 and followed Highway 8 all the way over to San Diego where we got to go sailing. Once we got Cinder settled into her puppy hotel, then we hit the road. Now the problem is, is we live on the wrong side of Phoenix so we had to actually drive all the way through Phoenix and then kind of south towards uh, Buckeye and then it starts to kind of become an easier drive so once we got past Buckeye it was pretty much clear sailing but talk about a drive with no view uh, I swear it's just uh, there was nothing on the right nothing on the left the Mexican border pretty much paralleled us all the way there there was some solar farms and there was also uh, lots of windmills but that was about it Hi guys, we're here at the Sheraton and uh, we're looking, it's kind of hard to see everything and we're using a funny camera because we left the GoPro in the car mm -hmm. but we want to show that we uh, actually have a really nice place we're staying looking forward to having dinner here and we can see some of the water but our view's not that good so I'll get, let you have a little quick look. Alright, being a little bit on the cheap side, okay, a lot, we didn't get the best view at the Sheraton but it was still neat because you could see the city a little bit if you look between the trees. And the room was pretty decent. Uh, the amenities, once you left the room, there were swimming pools, nice restaurant. We really had nothing to complain about. It was really nice. Hi guys, this is Robin Sherry. It's a little windy, sorry about the breeze. Anyway, this is uh, San, San Diego Bay, I guess. Shelter Island. Shelter Island? Anyway, so uh, this is one of the boat launches here. Busy, busy place. So there's a lot of mooring buoys out here. And self-launching. Anyway, what a great place. We have a nice motel, nice drive, really pretty scenery. Busy place. Anyway, tomorrow should be pretty interesting when we go sailing. But that's all I got for you now. So it turns out this is one of the public areas that most a lot of people come to to launch their boats, to bring their dinghies in from the boats that are being moored, and it turned out uh, as the day went on got busier and busier. Uh, the one thing that was kind of neat was lots of shipping traffic. You wouldn't believe what all was going by. And what was really cool was these buses coming out of the water. Uh, they're amazing. Uh, we've seen something like that in Seattle. We call them duck boats. And uh, <laughs> they are amazing. And people were having a good time on the tours uh, using them. And they were just fun to watch. And talk about billions of boats. 
I've never seen so many boats in one area, and I'm from the Seattle area, and they do not have this many boats uh, in Puget Sound. It was truly, truly amazing. And there was no lack of interesting characters. Well, see, today we're looking at a boat this morning before we go sailing, so hopefully we'll get you some pictures. Oh, off we go. So first thing in the morning, went to a broker's office, of course we got there too early, and got to see our first boat that we wanted to be shown to us. This was a 46 foot hunter. And it was a beautiful boat, it was well taken care of, had a lot of uh, features on it that we liked, very roomy, but it's the very first boat we've ever seen so far. Alrighty, we just got a chance to go look at that last boat, it's a good looking boat. Now we're over at the, by the marina waiting to meet up with the skipper for the sailboat. So sorry, there's an airport here. There's going to be noises to deal with it. Anyway, so uh, we just hang out here. They're ordering our lunches and we'll be going out in the boat pretty soon. So hopefully we'll get you some great pics. Alrighty, this is the boat we're going to be going out. It's a 36 foot. Uh, nice, nice looking. The skipper, super nice guy. Good looking boat. And we have four hours to relax in the water and enjoy a sailboat ride. And off we went. We started to uh, motor out of the marina and the skipper started getting everything ready. Started explaining a little bit about the area around us. He actually was very informative to show us what was going on. Next to us was actually dolphin training for the Navy. And you can kind of, you know, it's really hard to get some pictures of that. But, and as soon as you got out of the marina, you could see the city and worked our way out through the bay and slowly got to open waters. Uh, there was beautiful boats all around us and it started getting very relaxing. The weather turned out to be wonderful. A very light wind, uh, but enough to sail and blue skies and, uh, it just your heart melted with the relaxation of sailing and once they shut off the engine it was something that Shuri and I have just never been used to is the quietness of not hearing an engine in the background. This was actually the point that kind of indicated that we were in open waters. You could see San Diego in the background and Shuri and I got mounted in the very back of the boat on some really nice places to sit and the view was spectacular and we got to enjoy really nice lunches and uh, the skipper was really great about telling us what was going on how he was doing it and history about the area uh, it, it was amazing after about an hour in open waters we had to start working our way back to the bay Got to see lots of wildlife. Uh, once again, uh, once we got into the bay, we had to motor sail a little bit, so we had to turn the motor back on, but it was still just wonderful. There was no lack of pelicans or sea lions on the way in. <laughs> it was just fun to watch. All right, sure. Been sailing, really sailing, no motor. What do you think? It's great. It's great. It's definitely peaceful out here. So we're on our way back into the bay. And uh, it's been a super day, super skipper. We really appreciate uh, the hospitality we've been getting and very relaxing. If you ever get a chance to sail, at least just go out on a tour. It's very, very nice. And don't forget to get the box lunch. <laughs> Hi guys, so we just got back from our trip uh, on the sailboat. So I was gonna ask Sherry a couple questions. So first of all, what do you think of sailing? Sailing? wonderful the weather was great the um, captain was incredibly nice uh, very relaxing yes lots and lots of boats in the bay though <laughs> man talk about a lot of boats in San Diego uh, incredible thing if you ever get a chance come down here and go sailing there's so much to see in the bay um, there's more than I've ever seen of between the Navy between uh, they even had dolphin training yep. for the Navy down here there's everything down here and then every shape and size of boat yep they had uh, a, even a submarine that we got yeah, to see from a, a distance so um, 
what was your favorite thing about sailing? I liked that when we were outside of the bay and just sailing, we weren't power sailing, it was just quiet and just the quietness. Yeah. I liked the, the listening to the water um, against the boat and stuff. To and me it was very relaxing. The other thing that we were talking about, Sherry and I have been power boaters all of our lives, so she's like, do you realize how long it takes to get from one point to another? And I think that's the point. And so at this age, it's like, it didn't bother me, but when you're younger, a lot of times you have a power boat or something because you're a weekend warrior and you want to get from A to B really quick and you only have the weekend to do it. I can, I can see why we were never been interested in sailing, but at this age now, we're, our being is a lifestyle and sailing has a lot of things close to it. There's some things that say, you know, it's slowing down is okay and we don't have to be in a hurry in all a, the time yeah in a hurry so so we did a combination of regular sailing and motor sailing today mm -hmm. and uh just had a wonderful time so we want to thank captain kirk <laughs> from san diego sailing tour.com the company is what is what we used they treated us well had lunch uh our own pick out what kind of lunch you want treated us like this is your day enjoy and they really made us enjoy sailing today so we're grateful uh, I would do it again how about you oh yeah I'd do it again in a heartbeat so I want to thank you for watching our show make sure you subscribe make sure you leave some comments say hello and we'll talk to you next time bye Thank you for watching our videos. Please take the time to subscribe and consider being a Patreon supporter. There is many more adventures and some big surprises coming in the future with your help. Thanks again.